What's up, folks? What's up, folks? What's up, folks? Samurai King 8 is here today to talk about and review Hunter x Hunter 2011 Episode 130, A Magic of Despair. Hmm. From that title, I think we know what, what, what got revealed from that title. So, <laughs> uh, pretty chill episode, nothing crazy outlandish stuff happened, nothing too big. No, nothing that we didn't really already know or thought was possible happened in this episode. Besides a few little powers uh, being revealed and all this stuff. So, in the beginning episode, we see that the king, Miriam, has finally got to the palace. He's at the palace now. And he is walking to, to um, uh, the top where he used to be at. I forgot the, the, the uh, throne, where his king throne was. Well, the place is destroyed now. So, uh, he's going there now. Um, with Yuppie and Poof. And, um, we see Poof has this master fucking plan, and he succeeded! <laughs> well, well, his plan, I mean, shit, he on some Aizen, Raku and fucking Madara fucking, uh, scheming-wise shit. This motherfucker, he's doing his plan. His, his plan is come to fruition. He, he got, okay, we saw he got the, um, the, uh, uh, Soji board. And chair and all that stuff and all the part, all the pieces and stuff. He taking it and hiding it, like hide it, hide it, hide it, hide, 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 hide and all that shit. Hurry, 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 doing all that shit. So he finally gets in and hides it somewhere. We don't know where he hides it. And um, um, after he hides it, he has two, two. Well, here's a clone that's going to look for Wolfen. I'm like Wolfen. Why the fuck he going to look for Wolfen? Like all the motherfuckers are looking for Wolfen. And so he go finds him. And um, uh, I don't. I didn't really see the reasoning of finding Wolfen. I like, like, he found Wolfen just to call P2. So, um, to call P2 and tell him that, to lie to her and tell her that, um, uh, I put the wrong quote, my bad. <laughs> he called her, he used him to call her and tell her that they have gotten Kamugi. And we actually hear her voice and all that. And so we get a reveal that Pooh can actually use his uh, cells to replicate people's uh, face and bodies. I'm sorry, face and voices, yeah. And so, uh, P2 uses her, She, so I guess some kind of way she answered the phone, I guess she tapped, I, I didn't really see her answer the phone. I guess she just tapped it and answered. And uh, they were talking so low that Gon couldn't hear them. Cause we, we see Gon and P2 are, are in the hallway going to where Kite is. Ooh, and that shit. <laughs> uh, going to where Kite is. And um, when they get uh, ha like halfway there down the hall, they're going to. He calls her, and, and uh, her, her hearing is so acute that she can hear the low um, talking on the phone. So, uh, and then he tells that line all this stuff, and um, uh, Poof is spreading the evil magic that he has right now. I told you on, on some Naraku shit, man. <laughs> and um, so, but 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 a little bit before that. We got we, we see the human grapes and we get to see what they are. So basically, what the human grapes are, they're like cocoons of the things where uh, palm came from. So it's other humans who have been transformed from humans to ants, um, not 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 being eaten wise, um, like palm, and they're gonna be soldiers. So that's gonna be some interest to see later on if that if if they ever hatch. So yeah, and then. Uh, that uh, we see that Palm has um, uh, an additional power with a giant crystal on her fucking head, that big ball on her damn head. Because Killer was pulling some slice of life type shit. I, uh, yeah, I want to thank you and stuff like that, but I want, but he didn't want to tell her why. I was like, come on, Killua. <laughs> Put in that game, man. But I, I guess he feels that he know that's Gones lady, old lady. So I guess he didn't want to do that. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, Palm. Her, uh, uh, if, if she see you with her right eye, um, she can only see up to three people simultaneously. But I guess she can't hear can't hear what they're saying, which is obvious, I guess now. So, um, which she, I guess we should hold her hand over her that's the wrong side over her right eye. She do it. She do it. Does that? I guess she can stop finding. She can see um, all three simultaneous apart. So I'm like, damn, Pawn, you got better view than fucking we do. The damn TV. And she also said it's like a TV um, split screen view. So I'm like, okay, pretty cool. But then, after that, it happened. 
<laughs> it happened. Oh, but before before I get to that part, I want to talk about quickly um, uh, uh, Knuckle and uh, uh, Ikago and all of them. Uh, Ikago is trying to find him a dead body, the dead corpse to um, to a uh, control used as a puppet. Uh, for what I don't know. And um, uh, and I want to ask you guys this too. Do you think Poof really is going to help Wolf? And I don't know. I don't think he will, but I, he probably will. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Cause he's such he is a grimy motherfucker. So yeah. Uh, and uh, but yeah, back to. Knuckle and the chameleon dude. That little scene was funny when they was just standing in the fucking crowd like this. <laughs> and it just stands right like <laughs> And like um and it was and uh now Knuckle is trying to decide on if he should use the APR on uh Poof or the King, which I say on the fucking king, motherfucker. So yeah. Well then we get to the later part of the episode. Which which every episode been like this. Uh the beginning is is like Information why information information and after the commercial break after we see a little hunter hunter logo at the bottom shit gets real <laughs> Shit gets real really fucking real. So now P2 has found they finally P2 and Gohan are finally there where Kite is and Kite just sitting there oh, and, and why they was in the room with her, I wanted I was like why the hell is Kite not moving? Like why is he not moving? Why are you just sitting there? And so uh, Gone is getting happy you see we see his eyes are back to how they usually look uh, like normal gone um, until P2 tells him that Kite is dead he, he'd been dead since I killed him since our fight and uh, I chopped his fucking head off you, you saw it, his arm went missing and and um, uh, she basically said she was controlling him that's why she was doing all that attacking and shit when they when um, uh, uh, Nov and the rest of them captured him and had him in that room so yeah, he'd been, I mean, the fans, we knew. He'd been gone for a long time. I'm sure everybody but Gone knew. This motherfucker's gone. Um, so, we see Gone, he breaks down, and he cries. And, like, damn, it's my fault. Uh, uh, and, 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 like, he kind of, you see he's tipping between his sanity. He's, like, in, like he's saying in his mind, like, like, his normal state and his other state is saying, like, his normal state is saying, like, it's my fault. I can't believe uh, uh, I shouldn't have gone with him when we w went into the uh, forest and all that shit. And then like his, his rage side, his evil side, oh, well, not evil side, his rage side is saying, it's P2's fault. She killed him. So, and all that. We, you know, and then we got a little flashback, which it was necessary, but I was like, uh, I don't really want to see this, but okay. Uh, it was necessary for to convey the, the moment of the fears of why he is so... Um, um, why he respects Kite so much because it wasn't before the reason Gaul wanted to become a hunter it wasn't because of fucking uh, Jin it wasn't because of his dad it was because of Kite and stuff like that in a way you can't say because of dad because his dad did train Kite but but um, but yeah it was Kite because he met Kite in the original Hunter Hunter the first episode is major to what we're seeing right now because he saved him and all that stuff. We say because we see that Kite don't like taking lives and all that stuff. So um, yeah, we see Kite's dead, and now we see P two. She calls out Doctor Bryce. I think it's how you pronounce name, Bryce. And um, I guess how you pronounce it. I guess I forget. Um, uh, and Gone is like kind of getting relieved, like oh, she's gonna try to fix him. Okay, great. And she's like, and like we see her stick her arm out like this, and uh, <laughs> uh, Doctor the, the thing saw fucking cutting her arm and fixing her arm, and like Gone was like. Why are you doing that? <laughs> uh, or or, or, or maybe, maybe you're gonna when you get famous yourself, can you fix Kite? And so I was like, oh shit, she finna go out, she about to pop out. I was like, P2, you should have fucking lied. You should have said, hey, I think he's somewhere alive, but I don't know if I can fix him. You should have said shit like that. You should have did that or something. You should have tried or something because this motherfucker is about to get in your ass. So, overall review of the episode, it was good. Uh,. It was good, yeah. I would say it's good. It wasn't nothing. I mean, yeah, it was a field episode and a setup episode. So we're gonna get ready for some real shit to happen next episode. As we can see that the preview, which the name of the episode is, I wrote it down. I wrote it down. Uh, the next episode is anger and light. So take that. Which how you feel? How, how you think? What? Tell me in the comment what you think next episode is gonna be about. And um. Uh, and next episode will be 131. So that means we got five episodes left. 
But at least the manga is coming back, so thank you to Gashi for getting off your motherfucking ass. Alright, Samurai King 8 is out. That's it for me. If you liked the video, folks, likes it. Thumbs it up, baby. Share the video. Comment. Subscribe. Samurai King 8 is fucking out. See ya.